Beginning a journey of self-discovery and self-affirmation is a challenge we all face at some point in our lives. In this context, a crucial aspect is learning to establish personal boundaries and understand the power of saying no. Often, we find ourselves trapped in the habit of prioritizing the needs and desires of others, often at the expense of our own interests and well-being. This reflection aims to explore the dynamics underlying this behavior, highlighting the importance of recognizing and respecting our own limits. We will discuss how the act of stepping away from toxic situations or relationships is not just a gesture of self-preservation, but also a powerful expression of self-respect and autonomy. Throughout this text, we will explore the various facets of this process, considering how the ability to say no and maintain a clear direction in life can transform our relationship with ourselves and others, leading to a more authentic and fulfilling existence. Before we begin, check your subscription and feel free to leave a comment about your perspectives during the video. Let's start. It's an intriguing and quite common phenomenon, the tendency of many individuals to dedicate their time and effort to others, often even beyond their own limits and needs. But what is the root of this behavior? It could be an internal search for personal validation, a deep longing to be valued and accepted. Or perhaps these people believe that their self-esteem is intrinsically linked to how they are perceived by others. This excessive concern with others' perceptions can turn into a trap. When you care too much about what others think, you run the risk of losing your own identity. You become a reflection of others' expectations and opinions, as if your existence depended on the approval of others. This can be exhausting and in many cases lead to a vicious cycle of relentless pursuit of recognition and approval. This journey in search of acceptance can be motivated by various reasons. Some may feel insecure about their own worth, depending on external validation to feel worthy. Others may have grown up in environments where love and attention were conditioned on meeting others' expectations leading them to believe that this is the only way to be loved or respected. However, it's crucial to recognize that this constant pursuit of others' approval can be a lonely and unsatisfying path. It's like trying to fill an inner void with something that's always out of reach. The key to breaking this cycle may lie in developing a healthier relationship with oneself, learning to value your own opinions and needs. By doing so, one can begin to embark on a path of greater authenticity and personal satisfaction, where the opinions of others are just one part of the whole and not the defining factor of one's happiness and self-esteem. Many of us at some point find ourselves giving our time and energy to others. But why does this happen? Is it a search for self-affirmation or a deep desire to be appreciated? Excessive concern with others' opinions can turn us into true hostages of these judgments. If you often find yourself in this situation, I want to share with you a valuable strategy to reclaim your sovereignty and self-esteem. This strategy is simply known as walking away. It may seem somewhat abrupt, but in some circumstances, it's a necessary step to reaffirm your personal power. Throughout life, we encounter various people. Some do not respect boundaries. Others are overly dependent or even cruel and selfish. Showing these people that you are willing to walk away not only reinforces your independence, but also regains control over your own life. The power of walking away is strengthened by two fundamental pillars, the ability to say no and the presence of a clear direction in your life. If you tend to get lost in the desires of others, or worse, feel used or abused, you likely struggle with refusing requests and lack a defined purpose. Having a clear goal shows the world that you value your time and, by extension, your life. This naturally distances you from situations where your boundaries are disrespected. 
Keeping focused on your path reduces the need to seek external approval. Remember, walking away is not just a physical action, but a mindset of self-worth and respect. Adopting this stance sends a powerful message. You are in charge of your life. Thank you for dedicating your time to this reflection. Walking away might sound like a harsh move, but at certain times, it becomes an essential action to assert one's autonomy in a given scenario. Throughout life's journey, we cross paths with countless people. Some of these interactions are fleeting, like leaves in the wind, while others deeply root themselves in our hearts. Each encounter, whether brief or lasting, leaves its unique imprint on our personal story. Deciding to step back is not always easy. Often it comes with a mix of emoticons, a blend of relief with a tinge of melancholy. But it's important to remember that taking control of our own narrative is a sign of maturity and self-awareness. Knowing when to say goodbye, when to close a chapter, is a vital skill in building a fulfilling and authentic life. In some cases, this choice might seem selfish to others. However, it's an act of self-preservation. By moving away from situations or people that no longer resonate with our values or aspirations, we make room for new opportunities and enriching experiences. This journey of personal discovery is a mosaic of meetings and farewells, each contributing a unique color to the larger picture of our existence. These moments of departure, though sometimes painful, are crucial for our growth. They teach us about our limits, desires, and most importantly, about who we truly are. By sharing these reflections, I hope to spark curiosity and interest in my audience, encouraging them to look at their own stories with a new perspective full of possibilities and learning. Among the various people who cross our paths, some present particular challenges in understanding and respecting personal boundaries. Some can be overly dependent, clinging to us, and demanding a disproportionate amount of our time and energy. These interactions although often well-intentioned, can become exhausting, creating an imbalance in the relationship. On the other hand, there are those individuals we might classify as unpleasant and ill-intentioned. These are people who, unfortunately, see social interactions as an opportunity for manipulation and exploitation. They can act cruelly using sarcasm, criticism or abusive behaviors to belittle others, aiming for their own benefit without any consideration for the well-being of others. These negative interactions, though challenging, offer valuable learning opportunities. They teach us the importance of establishing and maintaining healthy boundaries. Learning to identify and deal with such personalities is crucial for our emotional health and personal development. It teaches us to be assertive, to stand up for our values, and to not allow others to treat us disrespectfully or harmfully. By making the conscious decision to distance ourselves from those who do not respect our boundaries, we are sending a powerful message both to ourselves and to them. This attitude clearly demonstrates that we are not owned by anyone and that we have the power and autonomy to choose who is part of our lives. This gesture of withdrawal is not just an act of self-affirmation, but also an important step in regaining control over our own well-being and capabilities. This choice to distance ourselves can be seen as an act of self-defense and preservation. By distancing ourselves from toxic people or draining relationships, we are taking care of our mental and emotional health. We are prioritizing our personal space and investing in our own growth. It's a reminder that we are the primary agents of our happiness and inner peace. Moreover, this action can have a significant impact on those who are prone to overstepping boundaries. It can serve as a call for reflection, an opportunity for them to recognize the impact of their actions and perhaps initiate changes in their behavior. The power of walking away is indeed reinforced by two fundamental pillars, the assertiveness of no and the clarity of direction. 
Firstly, the word no is a powerful tool in the art of setting boundaries. It's simple, direct, and effective. By saying no, you communicate your needs, preferences, and limits clearly. This act of self-affirmation is essential for maintaining healthy and respectful relationships. It's a declaration of independence, showing that you are in control of your choices and actions. No is more than just a refusal. It's an act of self-respect and self-awareness. It allows us to reject situations that displease us, commitments that overburden us, and behaviors that disrespect us. This word, when used assertively and respectfully, is a sign of inner strength and confidence. Secondly, direction is the element that guides us to where we want to go, both literally and metaphorically. Having a direction means having goals, aspirations, and a sense of purpose in life. Knowing where you are headed makes it easier to make decisions and choose paths that align with your values and objectives. Direction gives us focus, helping us avoid distractions and negative influences. Together, no and direction form a powerful combination. While no protects us from unwanted external influences, direction keeps us on the path to achieving our goals and dreams. These two concepts are crucial for maintaining personal integrity and following a path that is truly our own. If you find yourself frequently yielding to the whims of others, or in more severe cases, being exploited, manipulated or abused by others, this might indicate a difficulty in asserting no and a lack of clear direction in life. These are warning signs that deserve attention and reflection. The inability to say no often stems from a desire to please, to avoid conflict, or from the belief that our needs and desires are less important than those of others. This behavior, though it may seem harmless at first, can lead to a cycle of self-denial and resentment and create an environment conducive to being used or abused. On the other hand, a lack of direction can be the result of uncertainties, a lack of self-awareness, or fear of pursuing our true interests. Without a clear direction, it's easy to be swayed by the will and objectives of others, thus missing the opportunity to live a life that is truly our own. Recognizing these patterns in oneself is the first step towards change. It begins with strengthening self-esteem and self-awareness, understanding what we truly value and desire for our lives. From there, we can start practicing assertiveness, learning to say no when necessary, and to set and pursue our own goals and aspirations. Indeed, the inability to say no and a lack of clear direction in life can lead to a less firm and assertive stance. When we are not anchored in our own values and objectives, we become more susceptible to the influence and interests of others. This lack of firmness can be perceived by others and in some cases, unfortunately, exploited. When people notice this absence of direction in someone, they may feel encouraged to impose their own wills and objectives onto that person. This can occur subtly or more directly, but the result is the same. You might end up living a life that is more a reflection of others' expectations and desires than of your own aspirations. It's important to emphasize that having a direction in life doesn't mean having an inflexible plan or an unchangeable vision of the future. It means having a sense of purpose, knowing what is important to you, and making decisions that align with those values and objectives. Direction provides a guide, an internal compass that helps navigate the complexities and challenges of life. The ability to say no, on the other hand, is an act of self-affirmation. It's recognizing and honoring your own limits, needs, and desires. Saying no is not just a rejection of something unwanted. It's also an affirmation of oneself and what you value. If you're enjoying this, don't miss out on the opportunity. Purchase the ebook now, Stoicism in the 21st Century, Ancient Strategies for Modern Challenges, and unlock your prosperity, abundance, and improve your relationships with this ebook. Link in the pinned comment.
When people notice someone's lack of commitment to personal goals, they may indeed start to view that person's time as less valuable than their own. This perception can lead to a harmful dynamic where it's expected that you prioritize the needs and desires of others above your own. Such a situation not only diminishes the importance of your time and efforts, but can also establish a pattern where your own goals and aspirations are consistently put on the back burner. This dynamic can be subtle and is often not done with malicious intent. However, it reinforces the idea that the needs of others are more important, which can lead to a cycle of self-neglect. When you spend most of your time meeting the expectations of others, you might end up missing the opportunity to invest in yourself and your own goals. This situation highlights the importance of developing a sense of direction and purpose. Having clear and personal goals helps to establish healthy boundaries and make decisions that reflect your own priorities. This doesn't mean ignoring the needs of others, but rather finding a balance between helping others and taking care of yourself. Moreover, learning to value your own time and efforts is crucial. This involves recognizing your worth and the importance of your own goals and aspirations. By valuing yourself, you teach others to do the same. From the perspective of those who see others as less committed to their own goals, there may arise the notion that by dedicating time to meet their demands, you are, in a way, using your time usefully serving their interests. This view is problematic because it places the value of your time and efforts solely in the context of its usefulness to others and not in relation to your own satisfaction and personal growth. This mindset can lead to the belief that your worth is intrinsically tied to your ability to be useful to others, rather than recognizing your inherent value as an individual. Such an approach not only minimizes the importance of your own aspirations and needs, but can also lead to a loss of self-esteem and a feeling of dissatisfaction with life. It's essential to recognize that being useful to others is just one of the many ways to spend your time valuably. The true value of your time also manifests when you are working toward your own goals, taking care of yourself, or simply doing things that bring you joy and satisfaction. By dedicating yourself intensely and intentionally to a personal goal, you are engaging in a journey of significant self-appreciation. This dedication not only reflects a clear definition of priorities, but also resonates as an affirmation of the value of your time and life. This stance sends a strong signal both to yourself and to those around you, indicating that each minute is precious and should be used in a thoughtful and meaningful way. This choice to live with a clear purpose fundamentally changes how others perceive you. People start to see someone who makes conscious choices about how to invest their time. Someone who is not available to be indiscriminately consumed by the whims of others. Instead of being perceived as a resource available to others, you are seen as an individual with your own desires, ambitions and passions. Committing to your goals has several marked advantages. First, there's a sense of authenticity and integrity. Your actions and choices begin to reflect your internal values and beliefs, providing a sense of genuine and true life. Second, this dedication fosters an increase in self-respect and consequently the respect others have for you. When you demonstrate that you value your own time, you naturally teach others to do the same. Furthermore, this attitude of commitment can serve as a source of inspiration for those around you. Observing your effort and the achievements that come from it, you become a positive example, encouraging others to pursue their own dreams and passions. There's also the crucial aspect of establishing healthy boundaries. By dedicating yourself to your goals, you learn to say no to demands that don't align with your priorities, maintaining a healthy balance between meeting the needs of others and your own. Furthermore, 
Maintaining a focus on your personal goals and aspirations is an effective strategy for walking away from situations where your boundaries are violated or where you are subjected to abuse. This ability to steer away from harmful environments is crucial in various aspects of life, whether in the workplace, marital relationships, or even friendships. In a professional context, for instance, having a clear sense of direction can help you identify when a work situation is becoming toxic or detrimental. Whether it's due to colleagues who don't respect your boundaries or an excessive and unbalanced workload, Knowing when and how to step back can be vital for your mental health and career progression. Similarly, in personal relationships such as marriages or friendships, the ability to stay true to your own goals and values helps to identify when these relationships are becoming one-sided or harmful. It can often be difficult to recognize and admit that a close relationship is doing more harm than good. However, by focusing on your own needs and goals, you become more adept at realizing when it's time to withdraw and seek healthier and more balanced environments and relationships. This ability to step away is not just a form of self-preservation. It's also an act of self-respect. It involves recognizing your own worth and understanding that you deserve to be in situations and relationships that are respectful and reciprocal. By incorporating these concepts into a narrative, the message conveyed is one of empowerment and self-defense. It encourages listeners to consider the importance of protecting themselves from harmful situations and to recognize the value of seeking environments that promote their well-being and personal growth. Being focused on your own path has the effect of reducing excessive concern with the affairs and opinions of others. When you concentrate on yourself, the need to seek external approval diminishes significantly. You begin to understand that the only person you really need to prove anything to is yourself. This kind of self-knowledge and self-confidence is liberating and fundamental to building an authentic and fulfilled life. Walking away from abusive people and destructive environments is a powerful way to protect your self-respect and integrity. This is not a sign of weakness, but rather of strength and self-awareness. By making this decision, you are choosing not to allow your mental health and well-being to be compromised by toxic situations or relationships. This attitude also sends a clear message to the world around you. You are in control of your life. You decide who and what deserves your time and energy. This doesn't mean you don't care about friends, family or partners. On the contrary, it shows that while you love and value your relationships, you are not dependent on them for your happiness or sense of self-worth. Establishing and maintaining healthy boundaries is a way of demonstrating that you respect yourself and expect the same respect from others. Adopting the stance of walking away in negotiation situations sends a powerful message especially in a business context. This attitude signals to others involved that you have other options and that, while interested, you are not wholly dependent on that specific deal for progress. This is a demonstration of confidence and an abundance mindset, which can be incredibly influential in negotiations. The abundance mindset is not necessarily based on having a lot of money, possessions, or a vast social circle. Instead, it's about an internal perspective, a state of contentment and confidence in one's ability to achieve and create opportunities. When you operate from this viewpoint, you radiate a sense of self-assurance and self-sufficiency that can be very attractive and persuasive to others. This concept also applies in personal relationships. Loving and valuing people in your life is natural and important but it's crucial to understand that you don't need them for your own happiness or sense of worth. This understanding allows you to establish healthier and more balanced relationships where there is no excessive dependency. In negotiation, the willingness to walk away and take it seriously is often the strongest position. 
This is because it demonstrates that you are making a conscious choice, not acting out of desperation or necessity. By being prepared to leave the negotiation table if the conditions are not favorable, you maintain control and integrity of the situation. This stance not only increases your chances of achieving a favorable outcome, but also ensures that, regardless of the outcome, you remain in a position of power. You win by maintaining your standards and respecting your own boundaries. If you enjoyed this content, please leave a like. Subscribe to the channel for more stoic wisdom and share your thoughts in the comments. Stay serene and see you next time.